Oh, oh, my back. Oh. And let's commence on filling this stove. So, this does have a, a stainless steel mesh grate inside, um, which will give us a place to actually put a burning uh, tinder. And let's just hope this actually works. Oh, there we go, right. And we can lower the drawbridge. Oh, there we go, straight on top. Lovely. Right. Let's hope and for some. Uh, and that is fully open. Good afternoon ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for clicking that button and joining me for today's video. Hope you're all well. Now then ladies and gents, apparently I have been a very very good boy this year because my beautiful fiance has bestowed onto me a very very special Christmas gift. And it's the gift that keeps on giving throughout the winter months and keeps us nice and toasty in our hot tents. Now if you follow me on Instagram you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. You'll have seen this stove uh, on my Instagram page there but today we're going to take a look at it. Uh, in more detail and we are going to do a ceremonious burning in of my brand new Winnerwell Nomad Plus double view not reading it at all external air large wood burning tent stove let's do it oh but before we uh, continue with the video hands up who thought Winnerwell was actually an American brand You will be very surprised to know, if you didn't already know, um, Winnerwell is actually Chinese. As well as another leading brand in the hot temp market, G Stoves. So, from this point on, I will never ever badmouth another Chinese stove again on this uh, channel. Unless of course it is utterly crap and then it will get what's coming to it. But yeah, the two leading brands in the hot temp market, hot temp stove market, Winnerwell and G stoves are actually Chinese brands, so surprised. Now boys and girls, in this trolley we have the makings for a lovely hot brew and a nice comfortable sit down next to a nice hot stove. Uh, but before we do that, let me just tell you that this is indeed a very, very special stove. This is a new take on an old traditional design and this is actually patented by Winnerwell and it is a one of a kind. We have brought some kiln dried wood just for ease of use and to get out the back of my car um, but we should have plenty here for a nice hour burn at least just to burn any sort of residual oils off the stove and let me point out to you guys that this is no lightweight fast fold titanium stove no what we have here is a pure high quality stainless steel beast weighing slightly over 17 kilo oh, but Right, so let's do a very quick box content. Uh, we are racing against time. It is currently 20 past two in the afternoon, um, but the sun is going down rapidly. And I'm on the RAS tonight, so let's get this burnt in as quickly as possible. So inside we have a lot of protective foam inserts. All around, we'll get rid of them. We have some destructions. We are not going to bother with these today. We can fettle our way through. Um, one stove should be as easy as the other. 
although this has got a very special uh, feature that is my home address and price um, I'm not sure I'm not going to obviously if you want to know the price you can look it up yourself but um, this is probably four pounds short of 600 quid so again very very lucky boy um, if you do follow the channel um, you will know I have got the Winnerwell fast fold titanium uh, stove uh, which has served me very well for many years and it is an awesome little stove very lightweight this I'm going to call it is big brother um, absolutely beast of a stove there is the stove inside you have the fold out grates which also act as a handle I'm going to do some ah, lap raises yeah ah, 17 kilo guy yeah. fold them legs out so we do our fold out legs on the bottom Try and keep the stove as clean as possible. <sighs> oh, me guys. Oh, quick look at the rear end there. This is, to my knowledge, the only stove with a phallus. Um, so we'll take a closer look at that in a minute and get this stove cracker lacking. Um, flat ground, flat ground. It's like a bloody bog over here. Now, as mentioned, the stove does feature these stainless steel wire shelves that do fold out, like so. These can be used for resting pots on, drying clothing, keeping pots of water warm, things like that. It also aids as a carrying handle. The stove is constructed from high-grade stainless steel. It has some beautiful welding um, on and along the stove. You'll see the front door is missing the air intake on the bottom, which is what traditional hot tent stoves usually use. We have some beautiful furnishings along the handles um, and I will bring you in closer for a look at that. Inside the stove you'll see it houses the chimney pieces. The chimney on this is three and a half inch in diameter, nice and chunky again so we should have no problems with the wind folding that over, rendering that useless like my other titanium chimney. All pieces are stainless steel and very very beautiful they are. That does not go in that way. And before we fully build the chimney, let's just spin the stove around and show you its bespoke party piece. So there we go. On the back you will find the actual air intake for the stove. Um, this is a new design from Winnerwell. And this is what sets it apart from other stoves um, in the field. So we have a lever on the front of the stove. And as you see, that is what opens and closes the damper on the flue. And we do have a foil flexi pipe which comes off the back of this and actually exits the tent. I've not brought that today, it wasn't um, necessary for the video. But we also have a ring um, to fit to a canvas bell tent or any canvas tent which allows the pipe to sit outside the tent. And the purpose of this is Traditional um, hot tent stoves usually use and deplete the oxygen inside the tent and the heat from the tent um, which can pose a risk for the individuals inside. This one eliminates that risk and this one feeds from external outside the tent. Uh, you always have a nice supply of cold air. Fantastic. Dimensions guys, I'm not going to go over in this video. Um, you can check this stove out yourself, I'll leave a link up in the cards or I'll just put a placard on the screen show you uh, some quick dimensions. There we have the spark arrester. I'm not going to fully build the chimney. I think it stands somewhere between 9 feet um, on the stove. In fact, I think I, I might reach them only a short arse. Let's put that on there. I think we've managed it. Wind is pretty calm today, so hopefully there should be no uh, blowing over of the stove. Inside the stove we also get a, um, a little coal scraper, which is a nice touch. And if I haven't mentioned already, the stove actually has three windows, which I am pretty stoked about, excuse the pun. That should give some nice night illumination um, in the tent at night. So we have two dual side windows and we have 
one on the front. Quality. So here you can see, ladies and gents, that beautiful flourish on the front door there. Some twisted wire steel, very ornate. And now I'm going to try and give you a good look inside because this again is very different to your traditional hot tent stove. In fact, uh, briefly reading the instructions, I believe this has got some regas um, gasifier properties um, where it recirculates the unburnt fuel uh, fumes and reburns it as a second source of fuel. So I'm going to take the cam off the stand, uh, give you a look inside, so get ready for some shaky hand cam. So as you can see, we have the air holes running, can we? Just there, and in the back as well. Um, this isn't very good, is it, guys? I do apologise. Try and pull that away. Right, so, doing an absolutely crap job of this. But again, we have air holes running along the top sides, as you can see there, just under the glass. And we have it underneath there as well, just underneath the grate, which is removable. And I've got to say, ladies and gents, my first thoughts on the stove, just looking over it, is the build quality is absolutely immense. This is a very, very premium stove. Everything is stainless steel. The welds are on point. Everything is very, very neat. Do have some very, very minor, um, shall we say, toothy edges, but you'd be wearing gloves if you're a sensible person, not like me. You'd be wearing gloves with this stove anyway, so it's the stove. Uh, something else I'd just like to point out very quickly. This is the dampener module on the front. And another safety feature I think they've implemented here without even thinking about it, unless it is purpose, is this is actually fully open now when the lever is in the horizontal plane. So we can only open the door. Apologies for the... Um, Sirens, I think someone has just been murdered. Very likely around here. So the door cannot be opened when that flue is open. The flue has to be op uh, shut before the door can be opened. So that is very, very ingenious. And again, we can obviously have different um, positions for the flue to regulate the air coming into the stove. Right, less of that chat, let's get it going. Right guys, we've got some lovely kiln dried birch here and we're going to split this down using my a lovely little um, axe from GT Knives. Admittedly I have had this for a very long time now and as you can see um, in storage it has sustained a little bit of a more of a patina than I would like but this actually came with the um, Dragonfly Bushcrafter knife and I've not really had a use for it um, up until now so we're going to see how it does with splitting can even get that in the shot. Let's have a look. Ooh. She'll split. See, forgetting about the damper. <laughs> Silly sausage. So these will take 16 inch logs all day long, um, which will obviously improve burn times. Keep you warmer into the night. So uh, let's stuff it full of wood. Let's stuff that hole full of wood. You were. Uh... So ladies and gents, again, apologies for the rushed video format today. Um, I am trying to, like I say, get this done and get out for a, a well-deserved drink. Let's put that lanyard on. See if this can actually um, split a log under its own weight without severing my arm on that door. It'll do it. It's not a very, obviously, heavyweight axe, but... And it, oh, it does pinch you a little bit. But, with use of a baton, realising I am left-handed, <laughs> it'll do the job. I must say, um, there's not much footage of this on the tube anywhere. Um, so I think this is pretty much a first. Um, Winnerwell did put one on, but it was more of a shorts, and it was just demonstrating the actual stove and what it can do. Um, pretty much what I'm doing now, so absolutely pointless remark what I've just made. We also have um, air holes in the top as well, guys. 
Uh, I'll try and get a picture of them and send it you, send it you, uh, put it on the video so you can see. But yeah, we have air holes absolutely everywhere. Two rows here, two rows here, and staggered through the back. And we do indeed have the holes, air holes on the back. So um, I'm hoping for some really, really good results on this stove. Pick a light, so let's go with the little mini bick. Um, oh, that's good. Right. That is actually helpful, so we can just put that there for now. Light one of these. Like so. Come on, you bugger. Right. Let's hope for some. Uh, and that is fully open. Right guys, so the stove is taking on that lovely blue gold, nearly fell right into that on my face. Um, the stove is taking on that lovely bluey purpley gold colour now. Um, and to further celebrate this absolutely stupendous occasion, I'm going to make a lovely hot cup of black coffee using my titanium coffee press. So. First coffee on the stove, many more to follow. Might have two, there we go. Um, I have also guys, as you may well already know, actually bought a lovely canvas hot tent to go with this. That is very, very wonky. Sorry guys, bear with me. camera is on the piss just like I will be in a bit there we go what was I saying oh yeah that's boiling already that is absolutely some tremendous heat coming off there um, yeah I have just bought the one tigress north gaze canvas hot tent uh, to go with this that will be a stove for this that will be a tent for this stove uh, because I am going to use the ring for the pipe the jack adapter um, if that's what it's called um, so that tent will have a permanent hole in the fabric uh, for the pipe on the stove so um, that will be the ultimate combination I will be bringing the stove to the channel for a review very soon but as you can probably hear around this field um, it is like an absolute slot pit at the minute. What we got here, right? Brazilian roast and ground coffee. Brought a spoon. I can never remember how much is enough. Can't open it. Knife. Knife, give me a knife. Got a knife. <clears throat> Bloody hell, I've not used this knife for a good while either. This is the R2 Scout from Falkneven. I have swapped over to my Fulton even knives um, for the winter time. It's nice having a, a selection of knives that you can choose to use at different times of the year. Um, how much is too much? Doesn't say. Let's get a spoon in and just spoon it in. Let's go with, I say two. Two should be fine. Let's not get it on the stove because I don't want to burn that in. I reckon that should be absolutely fun dabby dozy. Oh, smells delicious. So that stove guys is absolutely firing. I'm being very careful not to over fire it because on a, I know a couple of people have actually bought this stove. Um, there's no video reviews, but they have left reviews on the internet and 
A couple of them have um, been known to have cracked glass after use or after some use. Um, and I think that's down to user error as opposed to the build quality of the stove. Um, I think obviously burning this outside you've got the cold draft on the outside and you've got the intense heat inside with the glass so that sudden shock to the glass even though it is tempered and fireproof glass it can shatter it and crack it so being very careful there no breeze today it's um, pretty still and calm so fingers crossed um, that shouldn't be an issue and again being careful not to over fire it. You don't need to over stoke this fire. As you can see, the flame is going absolutely fine there. You don't have to, st you don't have to, um, you know, really pack that stove to get the heat out. It's giving off some absolutely belting heat there. Um, and so far, guys, I am absolutely loving it. So yeah, I think we have got some, uh, again, gasification action going on, which should give us a nice clean burn. Awesome. Whoa there, cowboy. My coffee's done. So ladies and gents, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. Uh, I look forward to conversing with you down there. But ladies and gents, that wraps up today's video. I would like to thank you for joining me for today's video and I hope you've enjoyed today's content. If I don't see you this side of Christmas, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic Christmas with your family and an awesome new year and I will see you in the new year with new and hopefully more regular content. But until then guys, you stay safe and as always, stay crafty. See you again, bye bye. I think we saved it. I think it is okay. Oh, bloody hell. Just a random guy in the middle of the woods, nothing to see here, with a fantastic stove. Come by, my lord, come by. Ow.